Okay, so the video is going to be a little bit different today. Today I'm making Toriel's Butterscotch Cinnamon Pie from Undertale. I always wondered what this tasted like, so I finally decided to do it. For the amounts of each ingredient you'll need, check the description. But just basically, you're going to need butter, brown sugar, flour, evaporated milk, egg yolks, vanilla extract, cinnamon, milk, salt, and a pie crust. Get a pie plate and roll your crust out onto it. We're going to be making a decorative zigzag design around the outside of the crust by pinching it. Make sure it goes all the way around. Perfect. We're gonna poke holes in the bottom of the pie crust to allow for steam. Set the oven to 375. Next, we're gonna be making a double boiler. Fill one pot with about an inch and a half of water. Put it on the stove on medium heat. The smaller pot goes on top. It shouldn't touch the water, and there you go. Not hard at all. Meanwhile, we'll put the pie crust in the oven to bake for about seven minutes. Set your timer. For the filling on the stove, we're gonna start with milk. Add some salt. Stir. Next, we're gonna be adding some cinnamon. Also stir. There's gonna be a lot of stirring. Flour comes next, and you guessed it, stir. Brown sugar, you know what to do. Make sure you shake your evaporated milk well before opening it. Measure that out and add it. And stir. Still a little bit runny, but that's why we add the egg yolk. If you can stir out all the lumps, that's great. I couldn't, but it doesn't affect the taste. Next, you're gonna take it off the double boiler and add the butter. And the vanilla. Take your pie crust out of the oven when the timer rings and add the filling. Smooth the filling out into the pie crust. It just needs another seven minutes in the oven. Goes pretty quickly. Once you've taken it out, let it cool a little bit and you can go on to decorating. I tried to use some ground cinnamon to make a heart on the top. It didn't come out as neatly as I liked, but I just fixed it up with some edible glitter. You can decorate your pie however you like, or even leave it plain. I just thought this was kind of fun. Next, you're gonna need to leave it in the fridge for at least an hour to kind of set and hold together. But yeah, good job, you made it. Stay determined. <laughs>